Hello everyone, Jonathan here with Excel Help Now, and we're starting part two of our March Madness Bracket Predictor model. This is the model we're working towards. It's a fully simulated March Madness bracket. You can see as the, I'm pushing F9 to refresh the data and the entire bracket will simulate with new outcomes for each round. And this is a great tool to use to build different bracket scenarios and to be able to, to model out how you think that March Madness will play out. So this is what we're building out. Uh, I ended part one where we went through, created a, a single region and added in our probabilities and the logic to get from rounds one through the final four. So that's where we're going to pick up and we'll flip over to that model and start working towards finishing out the, the probabilities. So I have pulled up where we left off. I did go ahead and add the other three regions. We just did the South region in part one and I added some color just to make it look a little nicer. So you can go through and do this. 2023 bracket is put in there now, but if you are trying to do this for 2024 or any future years, you obviously would put in the, the different teams. But that's all I did was just create our base bracket. And then we have our South region, which we built out in video one. So the next step would probably be just creating a copy of the South. And then we can rename that to be our East region. And then we'll just update this instead of looking up 33 through 33, three through 33. We go back to our bracket. We'll look up 35 through 65. Update that. Drag that formula down. So we have our updated East region, really simple update there. We'll do this two more times. Create a copy to do the top right, which would be the Midwest. We'll read it at Midwest just so we can keep track of how it all flows through. And so here we're going to do a VLOOKUP, but if you see we do a VLOOKUP, it's going to reference from left to right. So it's, it's the opposite on this side of the bracket. So we can just change that to be XLOOKUP, which is a nice new function in Excel. So we're going to look up this value, B6, do F4 to do the relative reference, look up array, go back to our bracket, and we'll do AB3 through 33 and do F4 to lock that in. And then the return array will be AA3 through 33. So the same number of rows. And then we can just go ahead and just close parentheses, and then just drag that formula down. And we are good to go there. And then we will do this one more time for the, the bottom right region. Okay, and we scroll down, that is the west region. And these regions do shift each year, so you may just need to rename your tabs just so you have a better sense of what where each Team is so this we're going to reference rows 35 through 65. Let's update our formula to be 35, 65, 35, 65, and then just control B to, to drag that formula down. All right, so now we have our bracket. We can go ahead and change that color just so we know that's kind of our, our base tab. We've got our south, east. Midwest and West regions with all the different teams. And we have our base probabilities, which is looking at the historical information from 2001 through 2023. And then we have this manual adjustment column where we can tweak the probabilities of each round and each matchup. And then we're gonna look up these values, which is basically our adjusted probabilities in the final model. So. Take a pause here in the video, get to, to where I'm at today, where we have each round created, each region created with rounds one through four to get us to the final four. And then we're going to create a final four tab, which will take all of our regions, combine them together so we can build out the national championship game and then ultimately the national champion. So I'll pause there, let you get caught up, take a breath, and then we will get that final 
we'll get from the final four to the champion built out. Okay, last step before we get into the fun part of actually seeing some bracket simulation, we need to create one more tab and we're gonna call this final four. And here is where we're going to bring all of our teams together in one visual sheet so we can actually have some simulations. So you can go ahead and just copy each one of these regions, just grabbing the values, the bring in the formulas as well, so it can be dynamic. Just copy paste. So you get the seed and the team for each one of our tabs. There we go. We have all 64 consolidated into a nice table. And this section is going to be the championship game probabilities. And so what we'll do is we will look up the C number. So we'll go back to our base probabilities. We'll grab this whole table, F4 to lock it in. And we want the six columns. So one, two, three, four, five, six to get that round five probability. That's the advancing to the championship game. We can just copy that all the way down. Control D to bring down your formula. So go back here, we can see 25% chance for seed one to go to the national championship game, 8% for a two seed. And if we go we back to the final four tab, we can see that we have those coming through. If you want, you could expand the decimals on those probabilities. So that's our base and then we can have an adjustment similar to what we did on our final four tabs where we can up that down up or down and then like i said i like to any manual input i like to make a blue font just so i know so that's just a static zero all the way down for percent and then so our total percent would be the base plus the adjust and then copy that down as well. And then like we did on each one of these tabs where we had a probability, we also have this formula where we look at the sum of the rows above. So we're gonna do that exact same thing here. So the sum of F2 through F, or F3 through F3. And then we drag that down and we want it to be lock in that F3. That. So go back here, you can see we want that U6 through U6 and we absolute value that in. So we actually need to change that to zero. And then this one we'll do F3 through F3 like that. And if you drag it down, F3 locked in down to F4. So do that all the way down until you get to Vermont, because this is the left side of the bracket. That's 32. And then we can go ahead and grab all that, Control C, Control V to copy it down, and we'll just update our formulas here. So instead of F3, we actually want F34, or sorry, F35. And then we do a Control D to Bring that in and then we can so there's the the bot the right side of the bracket and we can go ahead and just put um, some borders around the two sections just so we know all this our lookup okay so there is our championship game now we want to know the champion. So we can just take all that, copy it over. We'll do just champion probability here, champion probability. Okay, so the base, instead of the sixth column, we'll do the seventh. Change that. Just copy that formula down. Keep our zero adjusts. Keep that. 
And then our formulas here, we just need to update that to be instead of F3, we'll make that K3. In this one, we are going to drag all the way down because we want all teams considered for this, not just the left side and the right side of the bracket. So we will just drag that all the way down to grab every single team. This will be our master lookup for the champion. So there we have it. We have done each individual region to get to the final four. Now at the final four stage, we have our championship game probability section and then our champion probability. So a lot of numbers, but now it's actually the fun part of creating our bracket and having some actual probabilities to, to build off of. So if we go to our bracket tab, and what we're going to do is what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the champion and then we'll do the championship game. And then I'm just going to walk through one side of the bracket. The formulas will be able to, you'll be able to copy the same logic into each one of the individual regions. But the big thing is you want to start with your, your probabilities starting with the champion and then working down from there. Our first formula, we're going to go ahead and select 033. So this is the champion equals. We're going to do a lookup, then we're going to do the RAN function. So this is what I've been talking about the whole video. And then we're going to go to our final four tab. We're going to look up this column L. So L33 through L36, comma. And then we are going to bring in, if that's the result, then we're going to do our final four name column, so 33. C33 through C36, and then we close it. And so we have we have a simulation. So we have Alabama coming in, and then F9 will recalculate the sheet. So I'm doing that a couple times. You can see our champion is changing. So we are now simulating a champion for our bracket, which is exactly what we want. And that simulation, those values are coming off of this cumulative lookup column here which is driven by the column K, which is the individual probabilities for each one of these teams. So you can see as I'm doing it, Baylor, Kansas, a lot of the one seeds are showing up more frequently, which makes sense. Now that we have our champion producing, I went ahead and copied in the championship game formula, which unfortunately isn't as fun or easy to, to comprehend than that simple lookup. So what I'm gonna do is highlight what it's doing so it's a it's a really long if or statement and it's going to say if or 033 which is our champion so champion sale purdue equals c3 which is the south region one seed cell so c3 and it's just going to go through every single cell on the left side of the bracket within that or statement so there's a lot of or values in there equals 033 a lot of different times, but I have highlighted here and you can see the formula. So, and it gets easier after you do it this first time, but this one is the longest. And it's just basically, the, the reason for doing that is Purdue one that is simulating to win the championship. So obviously they would, since they're on the left side, they have to be in the champion game because otherwise it, the bracket just wouldn't make sense. So UConn, we're saying won the game but UConn's on the right side, so Michigan State has to come, somebody else has to come out of the, the left side of the bracket. So that's that's why we do it. And it's the exact same formula, just opposite on the, the right side. And so that's the first part of it. And then if that's false, then you look up the RAND, your final four, G33 through G34. So that's our championship game probability, G33 through G34. It's the top side of it. And then if, and then it's going to reference the C33 through 34 as the, the return value. So that is that is the championship game formula. So the G33 through G34 return C3 through C34, our team name. Okay. And so that, that logic is going to hold through to the rest of the bracket. So I can go ahead and copy in the formula for our South region final four team do that so if or 
M34, which is our left side of the bracket champion, equals any one of the, the teams in the south region, then we're going to return that. If not, we're going to do a lookup. We're going to use our RAN function. And this time, we are actually going to go to the south region. And we're going to go to our round four, which is our final four probabilities, V6 through V21. And we want to return our C6 through C21, all the teams in the south region. So we have Missouri, a seven seed, winning the, the south region. They do not go to the national championship game. Tennessee does. So they're not going to advance. And so that's just how to see it. So Alabama is going to win. So they have to go to the championship game. And then since they're in the south region, they have to go to the final four out of the south. So I'm going to go ahead and copy in the rest of the the formulas for the south region just just to have it. But and then I'll walk through each one just so you can see it up on the screen versus me just doing it um, each time. So I'm going to take a pause there, copy everything in, and then I'll return to the video and talk you through we can how to bring in the the seed numbers, and then you could apply this logic to the rest of the bracket and be able to fully simulate a March Madness bracket. Okay, as promised, I copied in the rest of the South region. I have the formulas I'm just cycling through here. So it's just the same logic, just gets smaller and smaller. So a lot of or statements starting at the Elite Eight. Got that formula. Let me go to our Sweet 16. Just referencing same logic, just gets just cast cades down in our first round matchups. This is the logic for that. So I said once you get this figured out for one region, you can just copy the same logic for all the others. Definitely you could pause and come back to this section, but just wanted to highlight how I got to each one of those. And so you can see we have Alabama, 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 Alabama loses to Arizona, which Arizona wins the South region, wins the left side of the bracket, goes to the national championship game, and loses to Houston. So there's just all of these matchups make sense. There's no Arizona here, Alabama here, Arizona here, anything like that where the bracket just doesn't make sense and is wrong. Something else you can do is if you want, you could copy in you could create a formula to copy in the actual seed values. So this is the formula I have equals E4 equals C3. Then we want to return B3, otherwise B5. So, and you could just copy that down for each one of the, the matchups just to, to bring in the seeds with it you don't have to i mean if you don't feel like you need the seeds then you don't have to do that but just wanted to say that's another like kind of like the last piece of the the puzzle as far as filling out the bracket is just if you want to bring in the the seed values or not you can so that is that's the bracket i know that's <laughs> i know there's a lot of excel complexities here and um you know, it's it's a lot to a lot to go through so uh you know, for sure, watch this video a lot, you know, see what makes sense to you. Um, and uh, I will have a link in the description to this finished model if you don't want to actually go through and create this yourself, but you like the idea of being able to have a fully simulated bracket, then, you know, for sure, pick up the model. Uh, drop me a comment if, if you like it, um, if you have any other questions on it, just, just let me know. Um, like I said, it's something I've been working on for a lot of years and I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. So, um, yeah, I'd love to hear some feedback on it. And, um, with that said, I guess, thank you for watching and God bless.